Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Drew here from Lone Fox, and I am really excited about today's video because it is a casual one. I get to talk and chat with you guys, which are my favorite types of videos. I, I mean, I love the DIYs, I love the makeovers, but those are a lot of work. It's actually nice to kind of sit down and just chat with you guys and interact. Oh, well, I guess I'm not really interacting, but... Sometimes I feel like I am. Anyways, I do interact with you in the comments, but besides that, today I'm sharing with you guys my 15 holy grail items. These are literally the most used items in my collection of everything. Like these encompass DIY projects, cleaning up around the house, decorating, home hacks, DIY projects. I said that already. I wanted to go through each of them and tell you guys why I like them and why I feel like you might want to have these in your stash as well. If you're somebody that loves decorating or, you know, DIYing, whatever it might be. And some of these are also items that just are great tips or hacks to use around the home. And I also wanted to mention that today's video is sponsored by Helix. Now I have raved about my Helix mattress for over a year now, and I still absolutely love my Helix mattress. It is my all time favorite mattress I've ever owned in my life. So I'll touch on that in just a bit, but we do have quite a bit to get into. So let's go ahead and dive on into our first category. Now this is kind of what I'm calling my decorating category and I'm not picking out specific decor items because I love lots of stuff. I love this candle. I love that vase. I love that lamp. I love everything. But these are two items that I constantly kind of use in decorating that I just wanted to share with you. So the first are fake books. Now, I don't know if you guys knew about these. I've actually used these tons of times in past videos. I featured them in an Amazon favorites a while back as well. I love these because a lot of times you want the look of stacked books in a bookshelf or on a coffee table, wherever you might be styling books. And coffee table books are pricey. They add up. So these are great because they're way more affordable. They look like a coffee table book and you can mix them in and like stack a coffee table book on top and underneath. And it just gives you the look of layered books without having to to spend all that additional money. So I love these. I utilize them all the time in designs. They're literally blank. So you can use them as like sketchbooks if you wanted to. It's just a nice hack to know about if you want to get the layered book look without spending a ton on books. And next up is a pillow insert, which might be a little strange to you guys, but I've been purchasing the same pillow inserts for throw pillows for a long time and never really like honed in on which ones on the channel. These are incredible, you guys. These are actually down alternative, but they feel so much like down. They are thick and fluffy but they're not too heavy if that makes sense like they're just the perfect perfect insert and these come in every size imaginable so if you need some throw pillow inserts these are my favorite. Now I wanna dive into the little sleeping category, which features my Helix mattress. Now, of course, today's video is sponsored by Helix, but you guys, if you are in the market for a mattress, Helix truly is like the most innovative and easiest mattress company. And in the past, you guys have seen me use Helix mattresses in my own bedroom, in my roommate Marie's room, our friend Kelsey's bedroom, and even my 80-year-old grandpa, he is absolutely obsessed with his Helix mattress. And Helix really makes the mattress purchasing process extremely easy. You just start off by taking these sleep quiz that matches you with the perfect mattress based off your body type and different sleep preferences and is shipped directly to your doorstep in a box. It is extremely easy to set up. I did mine all by myself. I actually think I did all of them all by myself and you're just going to let that fluff up, which is honestly quite fun and you get a hundred day sleep trial. So let's say you don't really love your mattress after 93 days, you can call them and they will come pick up your mattress and no, you do not have to fit it back in the box. Helix mattresses also include a 10 year warranty and they have flexible payment options which is great because I know mattresses, they're kind of a splurge item, but again, you guys, you spend so much of your life sleeping. I definitely think it's a great splurge to do. If you'd like to check out Helix, make sure to use my link in the description box below or go to helixsleep.com slash Drew Scott to get up to $200 off your mattress plus two free pillows. I kind of feel like some of these products are like boring to look at, but you guys, these are my literal most used items. So the next two, we are in our painting category. Now there's a lot I can feature in here. I could put a paint sprayer. I could put a whole bunch, but I wanted to do two that I have just been absolutely obsessed with. The first one is pre-taped painter's plastic. And this is essentially painter's tape with plastic already attached. So what I love about this is when I did my horror movie room makeover and when I did my parents' kitchen makeover, I actually was able to use this to mask off the area. And it is so much quicker than having to apply tape to plastic and then put it on what you are using. So I love this. It comes in a 48 inch length and I think there's also a longer one as well. And this is a product that you probably wouldn't even know about at the hardware store because there's just like a couple rolls on the shelf and 
you can't even tell exactly what it is in the packaging, but it is amazing. So if you have a painting project, I highly suggest this painter's tape. And a painting product that I'm actually pretty new to is a edger. I believe this is what that's called, a paint guide wall covering tool. But guys, if you wanna do some quick painting or you just don't wanna tape off the floor or you need to like, you know, get in a seam quickly, this is really great. You can just mask it up to the edge and paint in the corner. You can put it like under the baseboard and paint so you don't get on the floor and just kind of move it along as you go. If you are someone that loves tape, this might not be for you, but if you're someone that's a little more daring and just wants a quick slide under the baseboard and a paint of the baseboard, this is for you. It's really nice, it's convenient, and super affordable as well. This next category I'm calling the quick fix slash touch up section because these products are truly amazing. The first one here is my mini vacuum. You guys have seen me use this so many times. If you're a DIYer or a crafter or anybody that uses like little small or just, you know, gets a little bit messy, this tabletop vacuum, you turn it on. I love the sound. It's like ASMR. So for example, I actually ended up painting like a really big vase yesterday and giving it a distressed look with some mud, but then the mud got all over my coffee table, just like the little particles of it. And this is so nice. You can just go right over the top of it, get all of it up. I feel like this also would be nice if you do jewelry and you have like little beads or just like little tiny things you need to collect. This can collect them all up for you and you can like put them back in the container. I just love this. I actually find myself reaching for it way, way, way more often than I thought I ever would. So these next two items kind of go hand in hand and they don't look like much as I'm sharing them with you but you guys you need these if you're somebody that changes out your wall art or you know you get scuffs on the wall listen up so this first one here is a fill stick and I've shared this on the channel before these are essentially just like nail hole quick fix fillers so let's say you do a little nail hole in the wall if you want to change your artwork up scrub this over the top it fills your nail hole in perfectly it just makes the process so much easier than having to go get like a spackle knife and some spackle and sandpaper and do that whole situation so I love the fill stick for small hole fixes that sounded inappropriate. Anyways, the next item is a touch-up paint pen. And you guys, these are really, really nice. All you have to do is it comes with a syringe. You can put your paint color inside. So let's say there's a little scuff on the wall over there or like, you know, a scuff on the wall over there. You can take this, twist it, you get a little bit of paint and just touch it up. You don't have to go get a paintbrush or anything. You don't have to clean anything. The lid goes back on. It stays good for up to seven years in here. You can add whatever colors you'd like. You can even reuse it probably once it's done. And I also love using them kind of in correspondence with the fill stick if I do need to fill a hole on like a wall that's colored and then you can go over the top of it with your paint pen. And then my last item from this section, which I already have ripped the bag for, are these rug grippers. Now you guys, I always have problems with my rugs flipping up on the sides. These are so nice. I love them. I love how you can do a corner if you want to. You can just put it like in the middle of the rug if you want to. You can really put them anywhere. They're pre-cut for you. And these are really nice because they make your rug grip to the floor, but it does not ruin your floor at all. They are totally removable, but they are heavy duty at the same time. So I was able to go through my entire apartment and add these under the rugs. I kind of want to get into the power tool section before my go-to crafting tools because I've been loving these power tools in particular, and I need to share with you guys this first one because it is so cute. And I featured it in a video a while back. This is a mini miter saw, you guys. And this is great for like popsicle sticks or mini dowels or like small little wood pieces. I use this all the time because I'm constantly cutting dowels for DIYs. And sometimes I use a bunch of them if I'm doing like a fluted vase or something. This makes the process so much easier, but it's really convenient just as like a quick little thing to cut with if you need it. And I've had this and a lot of you guys asked about it in one of my videos. I didn't really touch on it though, so I wanted to include it in this video. And then we have the newest addition to my miter saw family. But you guys, look at how compact this miter saw is. I am obsessed with this. If you do projects indoors, like let's say you wanna do wall molding, you wanna do baseboards, you wanna do, I don't know, board and batten, whatever it might be. This is the saw for you. It is so compact. It's actually a seven and a half inch miter saw. It's really light too. It's like 10 pounds. I had no idea this existed though because you guys have seen me use my DeWalt one which is in the garage and it's like 40 pounds and it is humongous. So I'd always have to run in and out of the house to do my cuts. I've actually been working on my bedroom makeover for the past week which is coming to the channel shortly and I used this to do all my wall molding. It made it such a breeze. This is also like $119 which I don't think is too bad for a miter saw. Super easy to use and just very straightforward. There's really only like two buttons you could press 
and that's all. I mean, just try not to cut off any body parts. And my next holy grail power tool is a brad nailer. And I just find myself utilizing this so much, you guys. I use it from DIY projects to wall molding to everything in between. It's such an easy brad nailer to use as well. It can go up to two inches with the nail and I just use this all the time. I actually have two of them. I have a Craftsman one as well, which is really great too, but this one's a bit more affordable. So this next tool, which looks like a box. Now, some of you might know what this is. Some of you might not. This is a laser level. This one in particular is so nice because it has a grid on it. Now, if you've never used a laser level before, if you want to hang a gallery wall, if you want to do a board and batten wall, if you want to do wallpaper, up to a certain length or paint a certain section this is your best friend I actually also created an archway in my friend Kelsey's room using a laser level now I wish I had this one when I did that because it would have made the process so much easier this one is a little bit more pricey but I will say investing in a better quality laser level is something I highly suggest because you're gonna get so frustrated when you put your laser level on the wall and the line doesn't stretch long enough you can't really tell where it's ending it's a little bit crooked so I always suggest just splurging a bit more on a better quality quality laser level. And my last little category here are items that you guys have definitely seen on my channel over and over and over again. The first one being my hot glue gun. Now, I'm not talking about my hot glue gun in this particular video, more so talking about the glue sticks that I use. Now, I buy these, you guys, by like the three dozen packs at a time because I go through them so often. These are Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks and I have used these for DIY projects. I've used them for furniture creation. Like they are the strongest hot glue stick I've ever used. And I just highly recommend using them over a normal hot glue stick because there's no reason not to. There's definitely options. They have the smaller one, they have the larger one, but definitely my holy grail adhesive is the Gorilla Glue Hot Glue Stick. My second to last items are my heat guns. Now, if you are not a crafter and you don't have a heat gun, you might not know why you need one, but you guys, these are so nice to have. If you're somebody that paints, you do spray painting, you do, I don't know, painting on a vase, upcycling, furniture creation, heat guns just speed up your process so much. And I know when you need to do multiple layers on a piece, having to wait for the layers to dry in between is kind of annoying. So I always go for a heat gun. I've had this one for probably 10 years or so. And this is a newer one that I recently got because I feel like this one's kind of on its last life. Heat guns just basically produce like a really high level heat, but it doesn't blow like a blow dryer where it's like blowing super fast. So you can still use it to dry down paint or dry down like anything that's wet just to move on to the next step of the process so much quicker. And a lot of times these aren't featured in my videos because I use them off camera. So I'll like paint in the video, then heat gun it off camera, then go back to painting and filming that portion. So these are kind of behind the scenes tools, but I use them all the time. And finally, my most used craft tool ever my industrial shears. I use these, you guys, like crazy. They cut through wooden dowels, they cut through metal, they cut through fabric, they cut through everything, and they don't ever get dull. I use these to cut florals with, I use them to cut tree branches outside, absolutely everything, you guys, these will cut through. They'll cut through metal. I've cut nails out of things when like they're sticking out and I can't get them in, or a screw, you can cut a screw in half. like. I highly recommend you have these in your stash because there's so many times I feel like when I go and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can never use a normal scissor on that. And I reach for these and it works every single time. And that you guys wraps up my 15 holy grail home hack, DIY tool, power tool, decorating, mishmash of items. But these truly are my 15 most beloved things that I probably have in my collection and just the most used items that I'm reaching for all the time. And of course, everything I did feature in today's video will be linked in the description box below you guys and do not forget to also check out helix if you are in the market for a mattress or you know a friend that's moving or a friend that might need a new mattress helix is totally your option so use my link in the description box below to get up to 200 dollars off your mattress plus two free pillows i hope that you guys enjoyed today's more casual type of video but i do have a makeover coming up next my next video is going to be my bedroom makeover which i've been working on and i'm finishing up today actually so freaking excited for that but i'll let you guys go i actually have to go get to make over that space, finishing it up, and I'll catch you on Thursday for that video. Bye, guys.